Hi everyone, my name's Sunshine and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And I wanted to share with you the sales I made in July. I had some really good sales, even though we're in summer slowdown. And I'm grateful for everyone and I can't wait to share what all I sold. If this is something that interests you, I'm going to be more regular in posting these videos. And of course, I have some haul videos to share as well. So please stay tuned. Okay, we're gonna start with my alma mater eBay. And the first thing to sell was this 10 karat gold created pink opal heart pendant and chain with the gift box. It's beautiful. Yeah, I got this a couple years ago at Goodwill, so it took quite a while to sell, but it sold for my full asking price of $49.77. Next thing to sell on eBay was this Alfred Dunner Diamond Eye Cap Print Embellished Top. And I got this maybe um, last month at Goodwill, so I probably paid $5 for it. And it sold for my full asking price of $24.77. Next thing to sell was my Gwen Stefani Lamb Dust Bag. I collected these a few years ago, so I have a whole bunch of different branded ones, and I'm trying to downsize my closet. <laughs> so I thought I'd list this, and it sold for my full asking price of $24.77. Next thing to sell, I just picked these up at a um, estate sale last month. And I paid a dollar for them, and they were in pretty rough shape, and I tried to clean the soles. And if any of you have tried to clean Birkenstocks, you know that doesn't always work. So the soles were, you know, stiff, and I disclosed that in the listing. But they still sold uh, on a best offer for $44.77. Next thing to sell was this pretty tie-dye hoodie that I picked up doing retail arbitrage last month. I think I paid, I'm pretty sure I paid $11 for it. And it sold for my, oh no, it sold on best offer for $39.77. Next thing to sell was something I bought a couple years ago. I was gonna try to use it, um, try to install it, better said than done. It just sat around collecting dust for two years. And I decided to list it and I looked at comps on eBay and they seemed to be going for good money. So I listed mine for $35.77 and it sold at full asking price. Next thing to sell, something I've had for probably four years, was a Coach Leather Color Block Tote. It had some uh, dark marks on it that I couldn't get clean but I got tired of looking at it, so I lowered the price by half, relisted it, and it sold right away for $49.77. Next thing to sell was something I got in my B&G trading box a couple months ago. It was a Premier box. I paid over $100 for it, and they had really great items in it, but the market was saturated with the same items. So since I hadn't sold anything, someone offered me $25 for this and I jumped on it just to get it out the door. Will I buy from B&G Trading again? No. I mean, like I said, they have really great pieces, but the market is just oversaturated with them. Okay, the next thing to sell was a personal item. It was a limited edition Sacred Calling Dreamcatcher Angel. And actually somebody near to me in Phoenix uh, sent me an offer for $45 and I went ahead and accepted that. Next thing to sell was another personal item. It, the pattern was retired. It was a villager tote and a zip wallet that didn't really match it, but they both were Vera Bradley. And I think she offered me $50 on this and I went ahead and accepted it because I'm really trying to downsize my bag collection. The next thing I got was this beautiful. 
And it wasn't even a name brand. It was, um, shoot, I don't even know. Oh, it was Style & Company. And I wanted to keep this for myself because it had this cool fringe bottom. Look at that. Gorgeous. And it was like in a burnout, lightweight material. But, of course, I went ahead to see if it would sell. And because I liked it and wanted to keep it, it sold right away for my full asking price of $24.77. Okay, now we're going to move on to Poshmark. First thing to sell on Poshmark was this North Face Rue Fanny Pack Sling Bag. And I got this at the same estate sale. I got the Birkenstocks. So... I only paid a dollar for it too, and it went for 20 on best offer for $28. Okay, the next thing was a bundle sale. It was three pairs of these Woman Within bike shorts that run way oversized, similar to uh, Lane Bryant pricing or Lane, Lane Bryant sizing. Hello. But anyway, I made a bundle sale and I was so happy to see these go. Okay, the next thing I picked up on Retail Arbitrage, it was these Gypsy Crochet Sheer Lace Beach Cover-Up Pants. And you can see that I couldn't take good pictures of it because they're white and sheer. So I went ahead and added a cover photo on it and somebody sent me an offer of $30 and I accepted it. Okay, the next thing was another bundle sale. This was a really great bundle sale. It was a personal item. This was a Morona tie-dye t-shirt. This one was retail arbitrage, this Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon crop tie-dye t-shirt. And the third thing to sell, I was also gonna keep for myself, but these were, uh, I think, Wet Seal Ombre Acid Distressed Embellished Fringe Shorts. They were beautiful. I'm surprised I had them for over two years with the fringe on the bottom and the ombre and they were embellished. They were just gorgeous. Okay, the next thing to sell was this Cherokee scrub top that I purchased at a yard sale last month for a dollar and it had this cool ocean print on it, sea life pockets. Uh, she sent me an offer and I went ahead and accepted it. So the next thing to sell I've had for three years, this was a Love Addy crochet ombre uh, maxi dress, and it was really beautiful. I had it listed on eBay forever for $30, and it never, you know, got some attention, but I never got any offers or anything. So I went ahead and listed it on Poshmark, and it sold for $50. You just can't tell where something's gonna sell. If it doesn't sell on one platform, try another. So this item I've had for probably three years as well. It's an Atlas Cowgirl Fringe Western Rhinestones shoulder bag. It's a concealed carry, so it has a pocket for your gun. But I liked it because of the color and the cool fringe detail. And it was embellished. And it kind of is familiar with those uh, Western bags they sell in the stores that actually resell for more than this but anyway it finally sold for forty dollars next thing to sell i picked up on retail arbitrage it was this cool spongebob tie-dye t-shirt and um, a lot of ebay sellers had it listed for 15 20 dollars and i thought no i'm going to stick to my guns i listed it for 35 but i actually wanted 30 and it sold on best offer on poshmark Next thing to sell were my own personal shoes. These were these Dorsey Poppy Blue Crushed Velvet Pointy Flats. And I'm not even sure I ever wore these. But I'm trying to clear out my shoe collection like I'm trying to clear out my bag collection. So someone sent me an offer of $20 and I gladly accepted. This one I've had for a long time as well. I've had it listed on eBay forever. I had it probably as low as $30 at one point. So I went ahead and listed it on Poshmark and it sold within 48 hours of me listing it for $45. And I got a sweet love note and she loved the dress and she was gonna wear it to a wedding. So I'm glad she liked it and get some use out of it. 
Okay, the next, we're moving on to Mercari. Mercari is, I'm not even, I don't, um, I don't even know how to say this. I mean, I list stuff over there, but it just sits and sits and gets some attention. You send out offers and usually, you know, nobody accepts. This one was my own personal collection. And of course, I didn't really want to sell it, but I wanted to list it on Mercari just to see what would happen. And as usual, just because I loved it, it went ahead and sold. Um, I think I had it listed for $25 and someone offered me $22 and I went ahead and accepted it just to get a sale on Mercari. <clears throat> and the next thing to sell on Mercari, I actually sold two of these within a week of each other. I had them listed for $35 and people sent me offers for $30. And I went ahead and accepted them. I sold the size 20 and the size 16. And I have had these forever. I have so much swimwear. It's really weird, though, that, that they sold within two weeks of each other. Okay, so let's go ahead and do my numbers. Let's start on Macari, where I sold four items for a total of $90. The fees were $9, which left me with $81 total. Poshmark, I had 18 sales for a total of $429.88. The fees were 20%, which totaled $85.98, which left me with $343.90. On eBay, I had 52 sales for a total of $1,028. The fees were $143.92 which left me with a total of $884.08. So all in all, uh, the totals after fees were $1,308.98. Were and after cost of goods, I average my cost of goods at $5 each. Some of them are a dollar, some of them are, you know, 10 or $15, but they all average out to $5. So after my cost of goods, that left me with a net profit of for July of $938.98. So don't be afraid to start on eBay. I mean, I was in my 40s when I started and you know, <clears throat> I just learned from um, example and from lots of hits or misses and I made a whole lot of mistakes, but it can be done and you know, I'm learning something new every day. I'm glad that I discovered Poshmark this year. I'm not so glad about Mercari, but things do sell over there if you're willing to sell them pretty cheap. But uh, all in all, I had a really good month. And August has started out to be even better. I mean, it started off with a bang. So I hope that it continues to, you know, <clears throat> be profitable. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to do these twice a month instead of once a month. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.